here's an older round now. We've got the 38 Special Plus P 130 grain SXT. This is a Winchester Supreme round. I picked this up at the local pawn shop. So I'm not exactly sure how old these are, but I think this is a precursor to the Train and Defense and the Rangers. So we'll test out this round. Okay, that one entered right here. Um, went through the first block, into the second block. And I believe I can see it down in there, right down in there at about, about 13 inches. So we're going to double check and dig that guy out. Okay, I pulled it up and that one is actually closer to about 12 and a half inches in there. Looks like it spun around in the block. But uh, that one we got pretty good expansion. Again, from the uh, three inch uh, Taurus 605, that's a 38 plus P. That is the, uh, that is this one, the Winchester uh, SXT. So, older round, not sure if anybody still has them out there, if they're still available or not, but. That actually performed uh, pretty well. All right, Winchester 38 Special 130 grain SXT. Let's make a splash with this guy and see if we can't also recover the bullet. Alright, um, here is the SXT round that uh, went through the water jugs, blew them apart real good and ended up in the fabric barrier behind it. As you can see, not full expansion, did better in the gel. Um, but yeah, so again, we'll compare this all uh, back home. Alright, back from the range here, um, as you saw the testing with the Winchester 38 plus P 130 grain SXT round. This was a round I picked up at the local pawn shop here a little while back. Um, it's an older production round. I don't know exactly when this was sold or how old it is. It's not something that I can currently find for sale. Uh, but I figured there might be some people out there who still carry and use this round and also wanted to compare it against uh, other offerings by Winchester since I had uh, a couple of different varieties as we saw in the earlier video. And if you didn't, Go back and watch the, the <clears throat> first Winchester video where I compared this round, at least the, the look of it, to some of the other ones that are being tested. Um, as you can see in, in the heavy gel, it, it did pretty, or the, the clothing, uh, heavy clothing test in gel, it did pretty well. This was that one. Um, we did have quite good expansion. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it expanded. I don't know if that's fully, but that was pretty good from a three inch barrel. And there's still some clothing and whatnot uh, potentially stuck inside there. I'm not sure, um, but we're not going to play with that. Well, as far as uh, weight, right at 130. I guess maybe that's just lead inside there. I'm not really 100% sure. That's just interesting. The the inside of the round, I guess that's a little bit of denim and cloth, I guess, stuck in there. But uh, kind of interesting. So we didn't lose any weight. Uh, I did take another shot later than as you saw through the same heavy clothing, but into some um, some two liter bottles of water. Uh, so it's not quite as dense as the gel. And uh, maybe that's why this didn't expand fully. Uh, we did get some expansion. It certainly made a big splash. Um, it was a, a pretty dead center shot on that one. Um, but yeah, it did not fully expand here. Um, uh, it looks like we may have lost a little material too. Maybe a little lead loss on that one. It weighs in a little light. Um, but yeah, that that's... Um, not too bad for this older technology, especially in the gel made it to 12 and a half inches in the gel and it ended up backwards in the gel but so we had good penetration for this even though it was older technology and um yeah it, it expanded well so um as far as the uh the uh 
expansion on that one. Let's check that out here. It's very, very uniform here. So, 0.5 inches. 0.5 inches. 0.5 inches. And 0.48 inches. So, since that one has eight pedals, uh, it's got that extra measure there, but uh, it's, it's pretty much right at a half inch expansion on that one. This one, again, uh, this one has a, a wide point here where you can see there is this little part of the, maybe you can see that's part of the jacket that was sticking out there on each side. So that's the wide point, and that is right at about point five five inches and then we have this side it's point four five and we have point four five and about point four nine so again um, pretty decent expansion through the water and, and again I'm thinking it's just because the water might not have been quite as dense that we just didn't get quite as good of expansion on that one but or maybe just a slightly lower uh, velocity in that round i'm not sure but um uh, again overall pretty decent performance um uh, better with this one than the standard pressure through the shorter barrel the standard pressure defend did not do so well through the shorter barrel now this one again through the three inch barrel did pretty decent um so i'm optimistic to see how the uh uh ranger does um so stay tuned for that and uh again there's some other testing that we did while we're in the at the range as well uh, i might even have an, another 380 test that i did as well so stay tuned there's more coming